Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Amanda, and welcome back to Amanda's Aesthetics. It is nighttime here, and I don't know what time it is because I'm on my phone right now, but it is definitely nighttime here, <laughs> and my room is brighter than I've ever seen it before. I just got these really cool LED lights, light strips that I kind of put everywhere, every little nook and cranny that I could fit them. Now I can shoot at night, which I'm super excited about. So today, or tonight, we are going to be doing a full face of all new makeup. I haven't tried any of it before. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be first impressions for me with all of these products and I'll be able to give you my genuine thoughts on them. So it may not be like a review cause I haven't really, you know, thoroughly used these products, but it'll be exciting cause I've never used any of this before. So I'm excited to play with it. Before we get started though, I have a little story time for you guys. Sit back, grab some popcorn, and get ready to listen to this incredible fucking story. Probably one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me happened today. I was walking Scout, my dog, around the block, and my dad was with me. We were just walking my dog, usual, around the block, whatever. And we are passing one of my neighbors. I don't know, he's always outside like watering some plants or doing something to where he's always outside. Every time we walk by that house, he's outside on his front lawn. He's one of those. We're walking by and you know, we say like, hello, and he does the hello, you know, being friendly neighbors, whatever. And then, so random, but he goes, do you by any chance happen to know anybody who owns a chicken? And we were like, um. even more random and coincidental, my next door neighbor has a fucking chicken coop and has like 10 or 15 chickens that he has and he uses them for eggs and whatever, which has been lovely all of these years to wake up to the roosters. God, I love that. So we were like, yeah, yeah, you know, our, our next door neighbor actually owns chickens and we thought, you know, it's probably his because who else's chicken would it be? People don't just like have chickens as a pet like they have dogs and cats, at least not where I live anyway. And so we were like, oh yeah, we will, we'll go ask him. And so we went and we knocked on my name, my next door neighbor's door. We were just like, hey, like, never thought I'd have to ask you this before, but did you lose a fucking chicken? He was just kind of like, I don't know, let me check. He's probably gonna go back in the backyard and count all his chickens and see if he's missing one because how else would you fucking know? I don't really know how it works. I only have a dog. We continue to walk my dog around the block, doing the usual routine, and our neighbor texted us, our next door neighbor, and he was like, no, you know, I just checked, I just counted them. I was like, yes, I knew it. But if you need any help catching it, like, let us know. So we're kind of in this position now where we have a neighbor being like, oh, help me get rid of this chicken. And the person that we thought was perfect, we thought it was his chicken, and now it's not his, and he's offering to help us get the chicken but the other guy wants us to get rid of it from his property. So it's like, we're now stuck in the middle. Where are we gonna now wind up with a fucking pet chicken? Like, so anyway, we were like, yeah, that would be nice. Like, please come help us get it. Because um, interestingly enough, our old next door neighbors, they used to live there years ago, but they moved a while ago, but they had chickens too. I mean, they were like, animal hoarders and honestly it was probably borderline animal abuse like they had like hundreds of birds a bunch of dogs a bunch of cats they had a beehive so they would like give us honey all the time and whatever but they had chickens before and one of theirs got loose and my dad will never ever not tell this story where the chicken got loose and it took them hours to catch this chicken because they're actually really fast and they look pretty dumb but they're gonna try and get the fuck out of there and not get caught so we were like yeah we can't get the chicken ourselves and now it's our responsibility to help this neighbor so we meet him at the house of the neighbor who's got the chicken and now we're all kind of there it's like a little mini block party for this fucking chicken and we're like oh like where is it he's like oh it's like in the bush over there it's been there all day it won't let me go near it so me and my dad are just kind of like okay like we're just kind of like putting the pieces together. We're just kind of the matchmakers right now. We almost kind of just wanted to like slowly step back and just walk away. But at the same time, I kind of wanted to see how this would go down. It could go 
the good way or it could go the very interesting wrong way, which I was kind of hoping it would. But actually what ended up happening was he pointed out where the chicken was, my next door neighbor, the chicken fucking king, he comes over and he kind of like goes right under the bush, crawls under the bush, and it just like that, like picks the fucking chicken up. Like it was just like waiting to be picked up. Like, I don't know how this fucking guy just walked up to this chicken and picked it up like no problem, no problem. And he just like had it right here under his arm. He was just walking around. He was like, oh yeah, like she's pretty. I mean, this guy's like fu a fucking chicken Gandhi. I don't get it. I don't get it, but it was just, I don't know, it was pretty bizarre. He posted it on like this um, neighbor group sort of thing that we have here and no one claimed it. So anyway, he ended up keeping the chicken because I don't really know anyone else who owns them or whose chicken it could be and I don't think they do either. He ended up having to kind of wean it into his flock because I guess they can get like territorial and they could be mean. But he ended up keeping the chicken. That's just one of those things that will never again happen. Like just like the way that everything happened just so randomly yet it all kind of worked out. That our next door neighbors like have chickens so we knew someone who could help him out and like he was kind enough to keep the chicken like it just kind of all worked out and we all we did was just simply go out to take scout out for a walk like i don't know man shit's weird anyway don't mind how i look i'm wearing this really big tee with some superheroes because you gotta represent don't judge me it's late we're filming let's fucking do this thing so I already moisturized my face. This I've already tried a little bit, but I wanted to mention it. I got the Tatcha water cream. Yes, 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 I know. This shit is $70. This, it's kind of ridiculous. I still can't believe I actually spent $70 on this. And I don't know why, I really don't. It's cause I'm on YouTube like multiple hours every day and I just get fucking sold like that. This is the Tatcha water cream. It also came with a little mini um, Tatcha dewy cream because there are like two different ones. This one I think is a little bit more moisturizing and this one's thicker. I haven't tried this one yet, but I've been trying this one. It, it's really pretty. I'll give them that. Like it's so pretty. It has this thing on the top where it just slides out other way and it's like a little applicator that you can use instead of putting your finger in because sometimes you know germs and bacteria can grow in there for seventy dollars what do you get so you get this really nice cream i've already kind of used a little bit of it this is kind of what it looks like i don't want to grab too much it's um i don't it looks kind of thick but it's not when you rub it in it feels like it's turning into water like you're rubbing water on your face like i don't even know how else to describe it it turns into water like there it, i don't know it doesn't even feel like lotion but it definitely feels so hydrating it's crazy and i'm just rubbing it in rubbing it in and you can see there's a little shine it's super thin and this one um i've heard is a little bit lighter than this one and it dries a lot faster but yeah so i've been using this and I like it. I do. I mean, I don't really have much to complain about. It's a hydrating product. I have sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. Is it worth $70? No. It is definitely not worth $70. I just think that for the price that you're paying, this should fucking like blow my mind. This should just be like a complete skin transformation product of some sort. I don't know, I just feel like this is, this is just, you know, it's like a moisturizer. I think it's really unique that when you put it on, it like turns to water, but that quality of it doesn't make the product worth $70. So yeah, I'm still debating whether I wanna return this or not because I do like it, but it was just, really expensive and I actually did a little bit of research by research I mean I watched a shit ton of YouTube videos and I learned through my extensive research that there are some little things here and there so 
first off, this product says that it's fragrance free. I'm not gonna really get into it, but fragrance free, it's not very restricted on what could be fragrance, what, what is fragrance free and what's not fragrance free. But for the threshold that it needs to meet, it definitely is fragrance free but that doesn't mean that there's no fragrance in this. So that's one thing. The other thing is the alcohols that are in this. There's different kinds of alcohols and some are good for your skin and some aren't. And you can base that off of what kinds of alcohols they are, like the names of them. But this product just says alcohol. For a very high-end expensive product, you would think that if it were a good, like the better kind of alcohol that's good for your skin, that they would label that somewhere on the product to kind of encourage and like advertise how great the product is even more. But the fact that they just slabbed the word alcohol on here means it's probably not the good kind. So you know, there's just stuff like that that I just feel like for $70, this should be more than what it is. Yeah, so that's the moisturizer that I've been using. Now we're gonna talk about primer. We are going to try the new Laura Mercier Perfecting Pure Canvas Primer. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna put my hair up and then we can dig right in. Alrighty guys, my hair's up. Now let's dig into this. So I'm just gonna be taking just like a pea size. Ooh, that was a little bit more than I wanted. I'm just gonna take like this much and I'm just gonna dab it on areas first. And I'm gonna start with the... Ooh. Okay, so I am not even joking. This primer, it feels just like the Tatcha water cream. When you apply this to your skin, it like turns into like water. Like it no longer feels like a jelly or like a cream sort of product. It literally like turns into water and it feels like I'm putting just like straight water into my skin. Ooh, I really like that. It doesn't really smell like anything. It just smells like clean. Next, we're gonna be going in with foundation. So, which foundation do I wanna use? All right, let's try this one. I just picked this up from the drugstore the other day. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in the shade Ivory because I am very fucking white. Let's just do, we're gonna start with one pump. Ooh, that is not, super mixed. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like lumpy. Like the product has kind of like started to separate. And you saw, I I shook that shit first. And I just do the same sort of thing. I just dab where I want it instead of applying it directly to like the brush or the sponge, whatever you, whatever is your jam. Um, I was originally like just applying it with my beauty blender, but lately I've kind of been liking the brush. So I'm going in with my Morphe M439. I think this is just the foundation brush. And we're just gonna buff that. Okay, so it's blending out, not bad. It looks like it matches. Yeah, I think it's fine. So this is like not really full coverage, I feel like. Like it did kind of get rid of some of like my discoloration stuff, but my acne is not covered. Down here, up here, right here. I have this like capillary that it looks like a pimple but it's not. It's just always there 24 seven and it's not poppable and it just doesn't go away. Actually, it does. I have to get it lasered and I've already gotten it lasered twice now, but this just, this fucking bitch just doesn't want to leave. All right, I'm gonna shake it and add just a little bit more in those areas that I feel like I want a little bit more coverage. Cover that shit up. Bring it down to the neck. So it is blendable or buildable, but to a certain extent. Ugh, this bitch just doesn't want to go away. It's just there, it's just like fucking stare at me. And I do, I stare at it, I give it the attention it wants. 
So that's, I think, as good as we're gonna get it. Not super impressed, but I don't hate it. My lips feel a little dry. We're gonna actually try a new moisturizer. This is the Honest Beauty Tinted Lip Moisturizer, I believe it's called. Ooh. Mmm. Soft. I like that. It has that like lipsticky smell. Ooh, that's soft. All right, we're just going in with this bitch because you know what? She's trustable. She's loyal. She's dedicated. She gives me exactly what I fucking want when I want it. And you know what? I kind of need that little sense of security right now when I'm trying all these fucking new products. So we're going in with the Lori. Blah, blah, blah. L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade Eggshell cause I'm a white bitch. And I like to dab instead of like blend out. I love the face that everyone makes when they're putting their concealer on or like fucking with like their eyes. Everyone's always like. <sighs> I can't even help it. After I blend out my concealer, I do like to just flip this over and pat over my foundation. Yes, we love, love, love the bright eyes. We're going in with powder now. This is so raved on YouTube, and I want to know what the fucking hype is all about. So this is the... It, 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 it. What's the fucking company? Okay, we're just going to say it's Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I got naturally neutral. The transparent one looked like kind of yellow. So it opens up, you get this little poof. I fucking hate these, so we're just not gonna use that. Ooh, and we have a peel off. Are you guys ready? <sighs> did you just come? Cause I just did. All right, let's see what the fucking hype is all about. It's like really packed in there. Woo. We love powder all over our clothes. And now I'm just gonna, we'll just let it live in my carpet. So this is what it's looking like. I hope it's not too dark. It still looks kind of dark. I don't know, this was the lightest one that they had. All right, so I'm getting a good amount of product in here. And then we are gonna bake. See, I do like a light bake. I don't like to have it heavy, but Oh, uh, damn, just a little too much than I would wear. And then, honestly, I kind of do the same thing all over my face. I just take a little bit less. Ooh, it smells... It smells like baby powder. I don't know, I just feel like, I'm gonna say I semi-bake. When I semi-bake, I just feel like it locks in my foundation everywhere rather than only having it locked in in certain places because I'm just like pressing the fucking product in to my skin. Okay. It's actually a little light. Like, I feel like I kind of lightened up the foundation. Bronzer, bronzer. I got this at your local Costco. Just a little spoiler alert. Costco has really good makeup for really fucking good deals. Like, I got 
two Laura Mercier powders there. Not powders, I'm sorry. I got a highlighter. I think I got two highlighters actually. NARS lipstick, NARS lip pencil, NARS lip gloss. I got these, I think it's called Ju Julep, Hulep, Julep. I don't know how you fucking say that. These are eyeshadow sticks. So you have one side is like this spongy blender sort of thing that I will probably never use. And then the other side is... <laughs> They had like two in a set. So I think this is one set. Ooh, and they're just like super like smooth and buttery. Like they go on so easy. Like look at that. That's it. That's all you have to do. So these are, this was like one set and then of course I had to get the other two. Long story short, go to Costco, get makeup for a discounted price. Do it. Just. Just, just do it. So we have another little something something that I got from Costco. It's the Real Her. It came with a highlighter and an eyeshadow palette. This is the highlighter. It's called Confidence in My Glue. So this is the highlighter. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty. can see that it's kind of like a peachy gold or like yeah a peachy gold I'm gonna stick with that and then for the eyeshadows we have this one's called do your squats it's just kind of like a nudie brown um, eyeshadow palette but I thought it was pretty cute and pretty and I like the size of it and the quality feels really nice too Put it. Bronzer. We're trying out this Black Radiance Baked Bronzer in the shade Ginger Snap. Taking my Morphe E4. And honestly, I feel like this brush is a little thick for contour, but I just kind of pinch it like this and it works fine. All right, let's do this. Whoa, this is... Okay, so it's really pretty. It's just a little too warm. It's not like overwhelming, but like, you see that? Blends, blends, blends. Yeah. It's a little warm for me. It would be like a pretty, like, dark highlighter, I feel like. Or like an eyeshadow. Oh yeah, this is like orange on me. It doesn't really blend super easily. Let me take my other brush. It's not really wanting to blend out. Alright, so that was that product. Blush. So I got this Well People High Vibration Trio. I hope you guys can see this and it doesn't blind you because it has like a mirrored, whatever you fucking call this. Super pretty. So it's a, um, it's a bronzer, which I actually really like this bronzer because it's kind of cool toned and I need that because I'm so fucking white. I can't get away with this kind of like warm bronzers. It just doesn't work on me unless like I'm doing like a really warm look. And then I have this blush. And then I have this highlighter. So we're gonna go ahead and tap into the blush. Ooh, and it looks, maybe it's just cause I want it to be, but it looks kind of duochrome. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like pink and then it like has that fade to like slight orange. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this on. I'm using my Morphe M405. Picking that up. And then, ooh, ooh, I'm loving this. Ooh, this is so gorgeous. Ooh, look at that blush. Yes, and you know what? It kind of blends out the bronzer a little bit too, which works out perfectly. 
Ugh, I'm tempted to use a fucking highlighter, but I really want to use this one by Real Her. Ooh, or I could use this. No, 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 no. We're gonna try the Real Her. Ooh, but should I? I don't know. I'm like the worst fucking decision maker ever. Um. Fuck it, let's try this one. Okay, so I love this brush for highlighter. This is the Morphe M4, or er, sorry, the Morphe M38. Take a little bit of that and do a pat. It's coming, it's coming in. It's pretty, but it's like, it's just a highlighter. You know, like there's nothing special about it, but this blush is gorgeous. Okay, now we're gonna skip doing the nose just because it's fucking late and I just don't really want to right now. I'm just gonna do a little, little bit of the highlighter. Guys, I don't know what's up with me tonight. I think I'm just like in like a very like singy mood. Also, I did happen to grab like almost every Well People product that I could find at Target. So I grabbed the Face Trio, the one that I just used, the Bio Base Baked Brightener Powder, Bio Base Baked Bronzer, Bio Base Baked Foundation in Fair Pink, Biotint Multi Action Moisturizer. And this one has SPF, which I really like. Their uh, foundation stick, two of their lipsticks, and guys, these are so awesome. They partly sold me on just the packaging itself. So look, it looks like a typical lipstick. This is a button and you press it and it pops out like that. And then you literally just pull it out like that. It's so fucking genius. How am I supposed to get anything done? Like seriously. Then I also grabbed the BioCorrect Concealer. I grabbed the Highlighting Stick. I grabbed the Bronzing Stick. And I grabbed this, I think it's like a tinted moisturizer chapstick shit. This one. And I grabbed their three palettes. So I grabbed the Nudist Eyeshadow Palette number two, which is kind of like pinky nudes. Nudist One Eyeshadow Palette, which is another basic bitch nude palette. I like their packaging too. It probably like sucks on camera because of this mirror finish, but it's really pretty. It's very like classy. And then I also grabbed the eyeshadow palette nudist number three and this one's pretty too these two shades really excite me and so does this gold so yeah i plan on doing a full face of well makeup products so stay tuned for that all right moving the fuck on because i feel like this video is taking so goddamn long okay so we are going to do i don't why do i keep singing i got something in the mail today and i'm pretty fucking excited about it and i'm gonna share it with you i got a little package from colored rain it is just oh okay so the first thing that i got i got the i don't remember what it's called but i got like a bundle of things so this was one of the palettes that it came with it's the beauty rust you pop this shit out by the way, I am keeping this plastic film on all the mirrors so that when I use these in one of my videos, I'll be able to share with you guys the fucking satisfaction and the aesthetic. All right, next I got the Power Palette, which I had been wanting for a while and it was 50% off, so I was like, fuck it, why not? This is really, really, really pretty. So here, it, uh, Another like mirror finish, but it's pretty. Just trust me guys. This shade and this shade are duochromes. I got another eyeshadow palette from Colored Rain. It is the Queen of Hearts. Love the packaging, it's so pretty. 
and then it slips out. It is so fucking gorgeous. Okay, look at this shit. It's like so pretty. And I don't know what it is either because like, I don't feel like very many of these colors are super special, but in one palette is what I really like about them. And then again, like their formula, like you just can't beat it. And I like to keep all this film. See guys, I'm good. It's also by OCD. Go in. Ugh. And then it also came with a Safari Rain lipstick, which I think the packaging is really pretty. It matches their Safari palette, which I'm super fucking excited for them to restock. They're about to restock it and I'm about to fucking order that shit. I don't remember what shade I got. May she rain. So we're gonna be playing around. We're gonna do something, just a simple fucking look today. But I think that we're gonna mess around with the Queen of Hearts just cause that's like the palette that I'm the most excited about. Ooh, should I, should I christen this for you guys? I think so. Ready? One, two, three. Why is that so fucking satisfying? All right, taking my M441, to go in with I go in with let's just take hair higher hair can't fucking talk guys just realized that I forgot to do my eyebrows This is what happens when you film at fucking 1 a.m. But what can I say? I'm a night owl and with this shelter in place shit going on, it has like destroyed my, my schedule and like my routine. Cause like I was originally like before this, since I was out of school and everything, well, I also like plan my classes around um, sleeping. But um, I was like waking up at like 11, 12 and now I'm waking up at like 3 p.m. So this is kind of like 8 p.m. for me, but it's 1 a.m. Using my M433. Going in with Princess. Ooh, I really like this shade. Okay. Gwudge. Gwudge. All right, going back in with that same brush that we used with hair. Higher. Ugh, I don't know which one. Just blending that out a bit. All right, now I'm taking my M456. And I think I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm going in with Dethrone. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, this just looks pretty and pigment. Yup, yup, I was right. A little bit of fallout, no big deal. I was kind of waiting for that to happen because it's a very dark shimmer shade, so. Like, just look at that. This is a brand new brush, by the way, like, completely unused. Look at that. Wow. Well, there I go again with my fucking things. Oh, that's so pretty. Taking that up to add a little more shape. Going back in with the brush that I used with Princess, I'm just gonna take just a little bit more of that, sh just a little bit, and I'm gonna just blend that. The 
trick is you gotta make it even. I didn't get any fallout on this side. Interesting. Now we are going in with, ooh, I gotta use this Empress. All right, I'm gonna use my Veramona. I always use this when I use the same brush. So it's clean, as you can see, you saw how dark that brush was. Look at that, it's fucking clean. Okay, we are gonna go in with this orange. I may need to wet my brush a bit just because I am trying to use this bright color on top of the brown, but let's see. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty. I need to take it up a little bit higher because that's just like, wow. Oh, wow. Colored rain. You are killing it. Fuck me up. Did you hear that? Look who came to say hi! Except he's like, why the fuck did you pick me up? Mm. Mm. See, look, I have another brush right here. Same exact one. Why did I just clean this off? I don't know. I need to go in with just a little bit more of the brown, just to even it out. Now we're going in with, ooh, should we put, should we try this? We're gonna try this, okay. Cleaning the brush. All right, we're going in with Noble Woman, cause I'm a noble fucking woman. We're gonna pop that on the outer corner. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. That is so pretty and pigmented. And look at how easy these colors blend together. It's pretty crazy. Taking my Morphe M124, because I love this brush for packing on shimmers. I'm going in with Your Majesty. Ooh. Or change of plans. We're going in with Royal Highness. Now I wish I stuck with my original plan. All right, we're doing my original plan. So we're taking your majesty as planned. A little bit of fallout, no biggie. Ooh, that's so pretty, okay. 
taking the brush I used with the Empress and just blending that in. I'm just kind of sweeping the gold into the orange. Wow, I'm so proud of myself. I didn't use a pencil brush yet. All right, we're taking the M431. Love this little bad boy. And for the lower, I'm taking Noble Woman and adding that to the outer part of the lower lash line and then connecting. Taking Empress, make sure to blend Empress and Noble Woman together. And then we're taking Your Majesty and adding that right in the inner part of the lower lash line and then just swiping that over Empress. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I just did it again. Oh my god, I love that so much. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit more over here. With that same brush clean, we're gonna take, we're doing it. We're gonna take Royal Highness, the one that I originally put on my inner. And then, don't freak out. Then we're taking crown, because how could we not, and just lightening that color a bit. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Alright, we're taking two shades, and I don't know why I've just been doing this lately and I really like how it looks. So first for the lower lash line, we're going in with the Urban Decay Torch. And then for the upper, we're going in with Sephora, Sephora's Colorful Crayon in the shade Aloha. Alright, mascara, guys I have an idea. Alright, so this is actually new, um, or not new, but I just got it. It's a Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art, and it has these two colors, both eyeshadows. So we're going to be taking this one, which is, I don't know, but we're going to try and do eyeliner. Okay, why did I just put my hair down when I'm about to put it back on? With my... Morphe M251. This is like a super tiny eyeliner brush. And we're just gonna try and take a little bit off of here. Okay, so this could either be a really good idea or a really awful idea. Let's let's just give it a go. No one saw that. Ooh, I like that. Now let's see if I can match the other side.
I'm so glad I did that. I think it works really well with this. Alrighty, mascara. We're using L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Now, this is new to me. I was just so against getting it because I just love my Maybelline, but I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try. I'm actually really liking it. I think it's interesting how, like, everybody has their own, like, little techniques and, like, tricks up their sleeve for makeup that just works for them. Someone must be looking at me putting on mascara like this being like, what the fuck is she doing? And then there are other things, like, some people like to, like, put it on by blinking. That doesn't really work for me. Ooh, guys. Oh my god. Yes, bitch. Okay, so for lips, obviously we're using the Colored Rain Safari because I just can't resist. And I'm not even going to use a lip liner. I'm just going to go right for it and see how it works. It's fucking soft. All right, I think I need a little bit of shine though. Going in with Butter London Glaze and Lip Glaze. I'm telling you, go to Costco. So we're gonna open it. It's kind of like a marker. And then it has this interesting application, applicator. So we're just gonna twist, twisting. I'm twisting. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. The fuck is this? Alright, that's a lot, but we'll go with it. It smells like citrusy. For setting spray, all you YouTubers convinced me to get this Wet n Wild Photo Focus cucumber three-in-one primer water prep set and refresh and I do use this sometimes um, before I put my primer on but it's a little sticky but we're gonna try it as a setting spray today Oh my god guys, I am so in love with practically everything that I tried today. Just a little recap, I use the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier Perfecting Pure Canvas Primer and I really liked this. I use the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous Foundation. This was alright. It was definitely like light to medium coverage. It felt like it was like separating when I pumped it onto my hand but it blended nicely and the color works for me. Concealer, use the same fucking boring ass but good concealer by L'Oreal. Powder, I tried this, the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Have no complaints, definitely like it. It feels very light, it's not too dark, which I like. Bronzer, I use the Black Radiance bl Bronzer. This one, um, it's gorgeous, I really like it, but it's just a little too warm for me. It doesn't look too bad actually with this eye look because I have the orange thing going on. And then blush, I used Well People High Vibration Trio, this one, and I also used the highlighter in this. What I was going to use was the Real Her Confidence in My Glow. You know what? I know I already set, but let's go in with it anyway because your girl just can't have enough eyeliner. Ooh. That's how every highlighter should be. Like, not even joking. And then... I used the Colored Raid Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. Fucking love this so much. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of it. Love the look that I made today. 
I kind of feel like it slays, especially with that eyeshadow eyeliner. I love that. And then I use also the Colored Rain lipstick and the Butter London lip glaze. So that is everything. I know this was kind of a long video, but I wanted to be thorough with what I thought about everything and just showing you guys how I do my face makeup because I know normally I do it off camera. Again, like I have these little tips and tricks that work for me and they might not work for you, but everyone has their own little style that works for them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I'll keep you updated on what I decide to do about this Tatcha water cream because again, like it's it's really good, but it's like too expensive for moisturizer. So we'll see what I decide. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as usual, I will be posting again next Sunday and I will see you guys next week. Bye.